So, you're like, as the first thing to remember about this step is that you step in and then you open it. You step in, you close it. You step in, you open You step in, you close it. Step in, open it. You step in, you close it. Step in and open it. And try to step with the back part of your feet. Da, da, upa, upa, pa, 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 upa, pa, 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 upa, pa. In place, let's open with the left. That's what it comes out. That's what it comes out, right? Yeah, the right. So, so that's the step by itself. Now, you gotta add three or four different things detail to make it look like it's room. First thing that you have to do, you have to plie. Okay? Very important. You have to, and it's not this. <laughs> nor this, okay? You have to plie a little bit, plie a little bit, because these are dances, grounded dances, okay. you always have to be a little down. Okay. So plie is very important in here. The second part that is very important is the moyeo, the bouncy feeling. As I'm doing this, I'm constantly bouncing. Ah, e in, uh, uh, e in. So whenever my foot hits down, I kind of do a whiplash motion, see? With my chest. So very important. So while we talk about Marco Ore Marco Sierra, stepping in every count, you opening and closing, and then what? What do you say what we have to do? You bounce. You yeah. have to bounce and molleo. Molleo. Sometimes molleo is not as important. All the rumberos never use so much the molleo, but the new ones use molleo to make it more bouncy like feel and so on. Your choice, however you want to do it, okay? So, now, third thing very important, the arms, okay? So, if I'm here, right, opposite arm, opposite leg, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing applies to this, right? So, opening, e, one, see? I'm opening and closing, but the arms remain the same thing. Sometimes I'm throwing my arms here, Sometimes I can have my arm here. Sometimes I can have my arm here. Whatever you decide to do. Or sometimes I can add chimney. That's when you start adding a little more style to your rumba. Whatever you want to style. You can have the arm here. You can start to the side. But the arms are constantly movement to sort of, um, how do you say adornar? Adornar. I like uh, decorate. Decorate the steps. Decorate and embellish the step. I speak Very Spanish good. as well. Ah, <laughs> they, yep. To embellish the step. That's what that's what makes it so the style style us a little more. Okay? But the basic, the basic, the basic is this move. Okay? So that's Marco Abre, Marco Sierra. Okay? So that's two basic steps. So let's start from the beginning. Well, three basic steps because we did side. Now let's try to clean the start the, the, the second or slash third step, which is what we call it again. The Cuban side charge. The Cuban side charge. The Cuban side charge. So this uh the Cuban side charge. So there's nothing as a Cuban side charge, okay? Just to let you know. But I know that because people learn rumba from different countries, from different cultures, and things get, you know what I mean? People might not have the right information, therefore they start calling things. And that's fine. I mean, you know what I mean? You start, it's like in casino. You call in the chufla somewhere, and in other places it's called something different else because that's how people learn it, which is totally okay. So very important. This is an opening step that you in rumba. Usually when you are um, in the side of your partner, okay? So usually what ends up happening is that you are, you, you finish traveling with you, whatever step that you're doing, this one or this one or this one, and you're by her side. Now you're gonna start breaking with your left. And I'm gonna wait for my right. Okay, side, this side. Side, and side. So what happened is here, is that I'm looking, I'm looking at her, I'm pointing her, and all of a sudden I'm doing a kunal here. You gotta, you, gotta call. <laughs> you gotta call whenever I do that. I'll explain back kunal some other time, but that's sort of the idea of this step, okay? So, but that happens in Roma, as I said before, 15, 20, 30% of the time, most of the time, you're just walking around trying to, you know, trying to see, you know, what's going on in the action with the girl, trying to flow with the girl, okay? So in order to do this step, it's very, very, you gotta have to be in a box, especially mama folks, you know that have to, you know, about being in a box, okay? Your box doesn't 
doesn't cross this much, okay? It's not open here, that's too big. You almost have to sit on your butt, okay? You have to sit on your butt, and as you sit on your butt, okay, what happening is that you are opening side and side. And it's not side and side, no, side, 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 and side, side. Your body's still upright, right? And then you add molleo. So, let's stop there. Very important here, very important here. The molleo has to be three, always constant. Ding, 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 ding. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Now your arms can go left and right. Down and down. Or they can go side to side. Hey. Okay? Ladies, you are constantly inviting the guy. So you're inviting the guy. Hey, Bobby, come here. What do you want from me? I got some. You got some? So when they do back now, Nothing happened here. Easy. What if they, what if okay. they want to accept huh? the vacuum now? What if they want to accept it? No, it's a game. No, you can't. No, they can't accept it. Yeah. This is the rooster. Yeah. So what if, what if you win the game, though? No. Well, you never win the game. then you keep on playing. You keep on. But it's not a game she lets you win. You yeah, she's going to let you. you got to play hard and bad. No. Well, what happens is she, she, if she went in, they continue, and the girl, what happens is, oh, you got me. Then she do a form. She uh, Sometimes she, uh, she gets her hurt. And then the price is that she becomes pregnant. Oh, she's like, no <laughs> <laughs> that's I think she shows the pregnant. That's where you get the winning. That's where you get the winning. That's where you get the winning. Okay? So, let's lose, lose game. So, those are three basic steps for the mentors. Work on them, um, work on them, and then as you see it fit within whatever realm of salsa you're dancing, you can figure out a way to put them in whatever time you ask it. A lot of times it's easier to put the traveling steps in there because you're already traveling when you're dancing. This step here is a step that you do when you're grounded. So whenever you're doing it when, when you're dancing, any particular casino song, mambo, whichever dance, it kind of cuts the dance, okay? But if you're doing this, and then in Dilegeno or something like that, it's a lot much easier. It's a, it looks more fluid. But these steps a lot of times look less fluid. This one is a little more fluid because you're moving. You're moving around, right? Okay? So those are the differences or different things that you can do when you when you're dancing. Okay? Special thanks to Nizam Ali, son of famous Ben Ali of Ben's Chili Bowl. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate it. You know, such a historic site. We get to film. Uh, it's a part of us. You know, it's like a, you know, a half smoking and chili dog. You know, biting into a half smoking chili is like biting into DC. You know, it's 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 that synonymous. You know what I'm saying? Just take a bite Delicious. out of it. Just take a bite out of it. You know, that's all you guys do. Take a bite out of that half smoke. Ah! Uh -huh.